Hey guys, I'm Ryan, and on this episode of Baking with Ryan, I'm making a chocolate donut sprinkle drip cake. Look at this cake. There's chocolate covered donuts on top, a chocolate ganache drip, chocolate frosting, the inside is chocolate cake, and it's covered in sprinkles. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. The ingredients you'll need to make the cake are three six inch chocolate cakes, heavy whipping cream, chocolate buttercream, some chocolate covered donuts, chocolate chips, and any sprinkle of your choice. I'll have the recipes for the chocolate cake and chocolate buttercream in the description below. Before assembling the cake, you'll need to level off the tops. I do this using a cake leveler. Repeat this process with all three of the cakes. Now we can assemble the cake. Begin by securing down the first cake layer by spreading some chocolate buttercream on the cake board. Here's a tip for filling the cake. Use an ice cream scoop to measure out the same amount of buttercream between each cake layer. I found that two works for me, but depending on how big your ice cream scoop is and how much frosting you want, it could be different. Doing this makes a huge difference, especially when you cut into the cake. When you cut in, you're going to see perfectly even layers of frosting between each layer of cake. As you can see, I'm just repeating the same process with the remaining cakes. Remember to use the same amount of frosting in the second layer as you did the first. After that, place down the third and final cake layer. Place on the third cake layer upside down. This is going to give your cake sharper edges. Right now, I'm just making sure that the cake is totally level. I always like to do this before frosting. Start off by frosting the crumb coat. Begin by piling on chocolate buttercream on top of the cake and spread it out with an offset spatula. After the top is finished, you can frost the sides. When the cake is entirely covered in frosting, switch over to using a bench scraper. During this step, don't move the bench scraper, just spin the turntable as you're holding it up to the side of the cake. Before putting the cake in the fridge, smooth out any frosting that's sticking up. Refrigerate the cake for 20 minutes or until it's hard to the touch. In the meantime, melt some chocolate chips in the microwave. Once the chocolate is melted, we can decorate the donuts. Begin by dipping the donut halfway into the melted chocolate. Then, pour on the sprinkles covering all of the melted chocolate. Be sure to get both sides. If you want to prevent spilling, you can have a bowl under the donut. Place the finished donut on a plate to dry. Repeat the process with two more donuts. I ended up making seven donuts, and I just used the three best ones. After 20 minutes, take the cake out of the fridge and place the donuts in the fridge. It's time for the second coat of frosting. Just like the crumb coat, pile on chocolate buttercream on top, then spread it out with an offset spatula. Just like before, spread out any frosting that's hanging over the sides with an offset spatula. Now use a bench scraper to smooth out the frosting. The reason why it looks so shiny is because I ran the bench scraper under hot water before smoothing. This is a great tip to get a smooth finish on the cake. After that step, smooth out any frosting that's sticking up. For some extra decoration, use the same sprinkles as we did to decorate the donuts and make a border around the bottom. I placed the cake turntable on top of a cookie sheet to prevent spilling. Refrigerate the cake one last time for another 20 minutes. This time, while the cake is cooling, we're going to make a chocolate ganache. Begin by microwaving some heavy cream for 45 seconds. After it's heated, add 2 thirds of a cup of chocolate chips. Before stirring together the ganache, let the mixture sit for 2 minutes. 
Now you can mix up the ganache. It'll take about three minutes to get to the ideal consistency. Then pour the chocolate ganache through a funnel into a squeeze bottle. Since the chocolate is now in a squeeze bottle, we can create the drips. Begin by holding the squeeze bottle on the top edge of the cake and apply pressure. The more pressure that you apply, the farther down the drip will go. Now that you've made the drips, fill in the top with more chocolate ganache. Then spread out the ganache using a small offset spatula. After that, we can put on the final decoration, the donuts. Each donut is secured using a toothpick. Place one donut directly in the center, place one donut to the left and in front, and place one donut to the right back. And there you go, the cake is done. All that's left now is to cut into it. When you cut into the cake, you'll see perfectly even layers of chocolate cake and chocolate frosting. This is all because we used ice cream scoops to measure out the frosting and we leveled the cake. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already.